Okay, one of the things we have to do when we're dealing uh, with the attack phase in the CISSP course is look at attacks and attacks on availability. Um, remember we talked about confidentiality being the level of secret integrity, being about modification, uh, and later on I had to tell you that A was about availability. In other words, systems must be available for us to use. We think about denial of service we're affecting availability. Some of the attacks that occur first would be a smurf attack. A smurf attack would be an attack that's used with ICMP. And in a smurf attack, we basically have a victim. In this case, we're going to say it's on the intranet. 192.168.1.10 is our victim. And here we have evildoer. An evildoer is going to be at 192.168.1.1 for just this instance. And what evildoer is going to use a tool like HP3, and he is going to come out and he is going to spoof, which is to mean that I'm going to tell everybody I'm 192.168.1.10, I'm lying. And in this particular attack with HP3, I'm going to spoof an echo request an ICMP echo request out to the broadcast, which is all computers. Now, if I had, you know, 150 computers on the network, they're going to be receiving a packet that's spoofed as this victim, 192.168.1.10, because they're going to receive it on the broadcast. These 150 computers are going to echo reply, and they're going to echo reply back to the victim, and this guy's going to get flooded. And that's one example of a Smurf ICMP. Its cousin is called Fraggle. And Fraggle uses UDP. Okay. 